All right, I got this old Peerless boiler, oil fired, controlled by a triple Aquastat, made by Honeywell. Um, I recently just cut off this domestic <coughs> hot water coil, went to a heat pump water tank, and so I was gonna convert it to a warm start, turn the low down to like 130-ish, 140. Uh, I leave the high where it was, keep the diff at 10. And then when I did that, right now you can see, I just turned it down for demonstration purposes of this video, but it seems like the high limit is not doing anything to this boiler. This boiler, it's calling for heat right now. You can see, uh, let's see, it's at about 180. This is set at 195. So per Honeywell, the manufacturer of this Aquastat, if th this is this circular pump's running right now, you guys probably can't hear it, but it is running. Um, if the thermostat's calling for heat, this should fire at 10 degrees below what the high is set for. And the high is set right now at 195. You know, this isn't 100% accurate, but that means, you know, at, at 185 it should, it should fire if it's calling for heat from the thermostat, which it is. Um, this, this will actually go all the way down to the low temperature setting, like 140, before it fires, and then it will only fire back up to 180. Um, and the circulator pump will run all the way down to 140. Uh, if, I, if I turn the low you know, up to 170, then I don't really have issues because it will fire at 170 and go up to 200. But I, I want it to stay around 130 when, it, when it's not calling for heat. That was the whole purpose of removing this domestic hot water coil. So I think, this is my hunch, I don't know, I think it might be a bad either high limit switch, because this high limit switch appears to do absolutely nothing. Uh, I, I think it, the boiler is right now just controlled off of just the low, or maybe it could be the sensor in the well here. Um, I'm gonna try to replace it and see if that solves the issue. All right, got the new one in, pretty easy, took about 10 minutes. Um, basically just a direct swap over. Now I got this one set at, um, let's see, I want it to be 135-ish, in between 140 and 130. And then the high limit is set at uh, 195, low at 135, and the diff at 10. Now some people might ask why I just didn't convert it to a complete cold start and just do away with the low and diff. And the reason is I want, it, I want it to stay warm so that it doesn't condensate. Uh, and it's also an old boiler, so. Let's see if this works. Here we go, we turn it on. It's currently, temperature in there is now mm, one, 150, just over 150. This is only at 135. Under the old one, with that temperature, it would not have fired right now. So let's see if the burner fires when I turn it on. Oh, I guess it worked. See what it shoots up to here. Yeah. See the old one. circulator 
pump is going, um, which it should be allowed to go at 135 plus the differential, so 145 it should be allowed to operate the circulator pump. So it's pumping right now, which is okay. All right, and the boiler <clears throat> shut down right around 200, which is perfecto. So, I guess it was either bad sensor in the well or bad high limit switch. I, I don't know which, but the new Aquastat fixed my problem. All right, one more thing. The only tricky part about replacing this to make sure is this sensor this is coiled up in here so when you get this out of the box it looks like you know it'll come like this it'll kind of come like this in the box and not only do you have to pull this out but then you actually kind of have to pull this out from in here make sure that it, it goes all the way in the well and it explains that this is the old one so but it explains that on the back of this that was the only tricky part